welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through another couple of posts from the Reddit thread. Am I the a-hole? Usually the answer is no for me. I think if you are enough of a good person that you're asking if you're the a-hole, you're probably not the a-hole. But then there are those delusional people. So let's see what we have today. Um, Things out there suck, but maybe we can laugh for a few minutes. So let's try. Am I the a-hole for editing my wedding photos to remove the white top my sister-in-law was wearing? Whoa. Okay, let's 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 hear the details. I got married back in June at my wedding, and at my wedding, I got married back in June, and at my wedding, my now sister-in-law was wearing an outfit with a white top and a black bottom part, like this up here. I didn't say anything to her at the wedding, but going through my photos with the photographer, I felt like they were a bit silly since the top part of her outfit was literally the same color as my wedding dress. Yeah, y'all, you're just supposed to stay away from white. Uh, and in certain photos, it really made her pop out. You're not supposed to pop out at a wedding unless you're the bride or the groom. Since they are my wedding photos, I requested the photographer to make my sister-in-law's top to be grayish instead, if possible. We only edited the ones where she was standing next to or near me, by the way. When my photographer sent me the finalized versions, I distributed them, distributed them <laughs> to my family members. My sister-in-law got upset and asked why I edited her white top. I said it was because she stood out too much. Sister-in-law requested the original photos with her white top be sent. I contacted the photographer. She said she could send them, but at a cost since they were additional photos. I asked if she could just send the raw over, no processing, etc., but it was still extra. So I told my sister-in-law if she wanted the original photos, she could give me the extra money and I'll get them for her. This made her upset even more, but I thought she dropped the issue. Fast forward some days and I find out she's talking crap about me behind my back. I went ahead and texted her why the hell she cares about the white top so much and she says she looks really good in white. And bought that outfit specifically said she wanted good photos. Did you pay for those photos, ma'am? I was dumbfounded with that comment so I just didn't reply to her text message. Then my husband told me the next night that sister-in-law is really upset with me and wants me to respond. She apparently believes I am insecure for editing the photos. Am I the a-hole here? No, they are your photos. You paid for them. Heck, if you wanted to cut her out altogether, they're your photos, you're paying for them. There's some frequently asked questions at the end, let's see. So the outfit she was wearing was a formal jumpsuit. This isn't exactly it, but it looks similar to the photo that I showed you a second ago. On the day of the wedding, I didn't think her outfit mattered that much, but she really did stand out in photos. It's partially due to the backgrounds we used, the lighting and camera work, etc. I edited six photos in total, with three of them being the formal guest photos that everyone takes. I did request editing on other guests, but again, just to fix any weirdness due to lighting and background. As far as color goes, no one else wore a lot of white, except some men with button-up shirts. However, the suit was the often very overshadowed. The white was often very overshadowed by the color of their suit jackets. Okay, nope, I say you are not the a-hole. Um, I say your sister-in-law is being really dramatic about pictures that she didn't pay for, and she needs to get off her high horse. That's what I have to say. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether she is the a-hole or not, but I really don't think so. <laughs> All right, next. Am I the a-hole for investing money for my daughter instead of giving it to my wife? Doesn't sound like it, but let's see. Me, 56 male, I have a daughter, Shelby, 14 female, who washes her hands a lot. I recently thought that a good way to reduce her water usage would be to incentivize it. For context, our friends and family spends about $70 on water per month and we spend about $180. I told Shelby that the water she uses is often wasted as she just blasts the tap at full and doesn't even have her hands under them. She just scrubs her hands next to them and leaves the tap running. I told Shelby I'd rather spend the money on other things like food and gifts. A few days later, I told Shelby that any money she saves by using less water, I will spend on her. That was about a year and a half ago. Since then, we've saved a total of almost $1,500. All right. About a third of this has been given to Shelby as spending money and the rest was invested. 
the invested money has gone up a lot and I was so proud so I mentioned it to Shelby over breakfast. My wife butted in and asked if she could have half for spending money. I told her no because it is intended for Shelby for use for college or her future. My wife Tara, 44 female, got incredibly angry saying she's part of the family and deserves my investments and money. She said it's not fair that Shelby gets money that should be shared. I told her she doesn't pay the bills so I can do what I want with any savings. Tara then changed a different argument saying I was messing with Shelby's therapy by trying to change her rituals. I've spoken to Shelby's therapist and she said incentivizing Shelby to wash her hands less will aid her treatment for OCD. I told Shara... I told Tara she didn't care about Shelby's treatment and was just after the money. She got angry saying I accused her of being a gold digger. I never said this. She has her own job and we get paid similar amounts anyway. She is angry at me and Shelby is worried she has caused her argument. Am I the a-hole? Edited info. I did tell Tara when I first thought of it, but she's not been interested when I tell her how the investment has grown. We both make similar income and we go on dates frequently. Also, we split chores and I pay utilities. She pays for food bill. Are you the a-hole? No, you made that deal with your daughter. Your wife has nothing to do with it. Why should you be giving money to your wife for what? What did she do? Shelby is actually trying to work through her rituals and her OCD and the mother is doing nothing to earn that money. So she's not entitled to it. That's what I have to say. That's what I think. Leave what you think in the comments. Let's move on. Am I the a-hole for refusing to pay for my son's childcare because his dad decided to change the court order? Let's see. I really don't think I'm wrong, but he's kicking off, so let me know. I, 27 female, have an eight-year-old son, I'll call J, with my ex, 34 male, I'll call P. We had an intensely abusive relationship, and he regularly emotionally and mentally manipulated me to get his way in the past. That's awful we spent the last two and a half years in court since he attempted to go for full custody because i have a partner my son adores and he didn't like it the court proceedings came to an end a month ago p didn't win in fact he got even less time before and stuck with my bill for dragging out the proceedings i got full custody and permission to move away for work the current arrangement means he has to collect jay from school for contact we can make amendments to this order providing we both agree he recently told me that he wants to change his work schedule and collect Jay as late as 7 p.m. I told him that if he wants to do that, it's fine, but he needs to have his own child care account with our provider and pay for the child care costs. Nothing crazy, literally like 40 pounds a month tops, but P would have to pay in advance and consistently. P has always had trouble with consistently providing money for Jay. I get pennies in support. He lost it and told me I pay for child care anyway since I work full time and he has other children to support. He has two other children with his fiance. I should come and I should cover the cost. I told him no, this was his time. I'm not arranging it on my account because I know he wouldn't pay me back. And if he doesn't pay me for it, we need to stick to the original order. He called me a manipulative B word who is trying to steal his son, but it's him that is reducing his time even more. Am I the a-hole? No, you are not the a-hole. No, I'm sorry. If you don't want to if you don't want to pick up your son at the same time that you were picking up your son, then you need to arrange for the childcare. That is, those are your hours. You need to be in charge of them. What is going on here? What, what goes on in these people's brains? You know? All right. That's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe. And I hope you laughed a time or two. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.